guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Marta and I'm so happy to have you here. As you can see, I'm going to show you how I created the su super cute look. I explained to you step by step how I did it in case you're a beginner and want to recreate a cute look like this. Before we get started, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button to be a part of this little family and turn on the bell notification so you won't miss any of my videos and give this video a big thumbs up, please, if you liked this look. And now let's get started. First, I'm going to grab my Rimmel Stay Matte Concealer and apply that on my eyelid and I'm going to use this as a primer for my eyeshadows and I already cleaned my the bottom of my eyebrows with the same concealer and I like to use concealers to cover up the darkness of my eyelids and to have a clean canvas for my eyeshadows and I'm going to blend that out with a little sponge from e.l.f. Cosmetics and it has to be nice and blended before you set it and I will be setting that with my Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder I set it in tapping motions and then swipe away any excess powder and setting the concealer helps a lot to blend out the eyeshadows a lot faster it's just they just glide on and blend out a lot smoother. I'm gonna grab my Pure Cosmetics eyeshadow palette and grab this eyeshadow with the BH Cosmetics brush and I'm going to be use th using this as a transition shade. So I'm going to apply it on my crease going back and forth from corner to corner and I just, I know it's like barely noticeable but I want to have something there on my crease right above where I'm going to have the shimmery eyeshadow. I just don't want it to be blank and it's, it, it's a cute soft rose pink or whatever it's called and this will also help to blend out the dark eyeshadow a lot better. From the same eyeshadow palette I'm going to grab this dark brown eyeshadow with a small brush. This one comes in the Rimmel eyeshadow palette and I'm going to tap it on the outer corner of my eyelid. Once it's on the eyelid and I don't have a lot of product left on the brush I'm going to start blending it out right on the edges on my crease and on the towards the outer corner. You just want to blend this out very lightly and make sure you don't have you don't start with a lot of the product, especially because it's a dark eyeshadow. And it doesn't really matter how it's looking on the eyelid because I'm going to cover that anyway. So I'm just focusing on the crease right here and on the outer corner. And I want to start off by rounding this out right here. I just go like this before I take it out to like as a wink eyeshadow. Then I'm going to grab a little more and apply it on my lower lash line starting on the outer corner. I just place it right there and then start blending it out into uh, the center and the inner part of my lower lash line and make sure you connect it on the eyeshadow from the top and this is where without having a lot of product on the brush which is very important to do this wing part you just want to start with a little bit of the product and I'm just gonna start kind of winging out the eyeshadow. Sometimes it may seem like you're not really doing anything as you're blending it out like that, but you're at, you are adding a little bit of the product and that's how you want to start with just a little bit of the product and then just keep adding more product if you want it to be a little bit darker. And I'm gonna go back in with this brush. I didn't grab more of the product, but it obviously still has just a little bit of the first eyeshadow I applied on the crease. I'm going to use this to help blend out the eyeshadow, the dark eyeshadow better. I'm just doing it very lightly and I'm barely touching my skin with the brush. I'm gonna grab the same concealer I used earlier and with the Real Techniques Detailer Brush, I'm going to start applying this on the eyelid and then slowly work on the edge right above my crease. If you want your eyes to look a little bit bigger, you have to go above your crease. That way the shimmery eyeshadow you apply on your eyelid can also show when you're looking straight ahead. And I like to do this in tapping motions and I never rush through this because you are working with concealer and wherever you apply this, it's just going to stick. So I never really do this kind of eye look when I'm in a rush because I like to take my time. So you want to make sure you start with a little bit of the product and then just fill in the rest of your eyelid and on, and then on the edge, on the outer, outer part of my eye, I like to go, go in tapping motions with a little brush. That way the concealer can be nice and blended. And I'm going to grab this shimmery eyeshadow from the same eyeshadow palette and apply it in tapping motions on my eyelid. And for that one, I also, you want to make sure you go, or you be careful on the edge of the concealer because you don't want to go over the concealer. And it helps me if I stretch my eyelid so I won't go over the concealer. And I do the same thing on the edge of the concealer, uh, on the outer part of my eyelid. I just apply the eyeshadow in tapping motions. And then I am going to grab the dark eyeshadow that I applied on the outer corner. I'm just gonna apply it right there again just to make sure everything is nice and blended and to deepen up the shade even more.
And last but not least for the eyeshadow, I'm going to grab this shimmery pink eyeshadow and apply this on the inner corner using the same Real Techniques brush just to give it a little cute pink glow. Now I'm going to grab my black eyeliner from CoverGirl Full Spectrum and apply this on my waterline. And last, I'm going to apply this mascara from Maybelline on my lower lashes. And I do have a review that I just uploaded a few days ago. And I will put the link to that review in the description box below. And I'm just reviewing this mascara. And in that video, you'll see the before and after and the amazing results this mascara gives me on my top eyelashes. By the way, I'm wearing the Anastasia eyelashes. These are pretty long but look so simple, so cute. But yeah, I'll put that review video in the des description box below. And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys like this look. Let me know in the comments below from 1 to 10 how much you liked this look. From the eyelashes, the shades of the eyeshadows, from everything. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so, so much. And please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share this video with your friends and family before you leave. If you liked this video, of course. Thank you guys for all of your love and your support. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye!